Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a weekly message from Jesus. You might have noticed I just hit the wrong button here, but here we go. All of our messages are available on our YouTube channel. It's in my name, Barry Strong. So I hope that you would take a moment and check all the messages out. We have almost 80 of them up now. So our father is here. He's ready to go. So without any further delay or mistakes, let me bring you his message. Good morning, everyone. Today, I would like to speak to you about forbearance. Now, I know many of you do not know the meaning of the word. I know when I told Barry what we were going to talk about today, he didn't know what it meant. It means that there are many, many things going on around you that you probably have very little control over. I know as you hear the news, you know that much is happening. The world events are sickening in many places. Good is kind of in the background now. It seems like there is so much bad going on. Sadly, there's always been bad. Now, I that's the way I made things. I wanted there to be evil. I wanted humans to be tested. But I also want humans to pass the test. You have to face evil. You have There are things that you're going to have to put up with. There are many things that you can't change. You can't change the fact that evil exists. You can't change the fact that there's going to be a time of your passing where you're going to join me in heaven. But how you handle those events is very, very critical for you. If you handle those events properly, you're going to find out that you will have a true happiness. As I've said many, many times, people often fear death. But I've told you that death is going to be one of the momentous, most momentous times of your life. You will be entering my heaven. It's a miraculous place. Your guides will also tell you how you lived your life. Those of you that have followed my teachings are going to be delighted with what you hear. If you don't follow my teachings, then there is a distinct possibility that you may not be able to ascend or to rise in my realms. If you've done enough things that are against my words, then there are lower realms that are available. Now, there's no place of fire and brimstone as the ancients have made up. But there is a place of nothingness for the truly bad. And I'm sure many of you out there that take time to listen to this to my messages are not at any risk of going there. I talk to you of forgiveness. I try to forgive. I want to forgive. I sent humans back as babies that know absolutely nothing. Everything is learned after birth. If the parents do their work and they teach the child of my teachings, then the odds are pretty good that it will follow my words. Everything has been laid out for you. It is not like you're traveling in the darkness with no light. I am the light. I am what should guide you. Your free will will determine how you respond to my words. It is, 
it is a very difficult thing for me to sit here and watch as humans struggle to follow my simple teachings. I have great forbearance. I have great patience. I know that what I've created for humans is very difficult. But humans are capable of doing much more. Humans are capable of learning. They're capable of teaching. And most of all, they're capable of making a decision to follow my very, very simple teachings. I know that many people are drawing away from organized religions. In many instances, religions have made it very difficult to follow them. They speak of things that make no common sense. But you have to look at it like the ancients looked at it. At it. In early times, they didn't have access to all the knowledge and information that you have. They could only relate things. If you wanted to think of a place where people feared to go, they could have basically only think of fire. They could think of tortures, which sadly they did to others. But they only had a very narrow vision of how they could create images and how they could instill fear. Now, you see, here's where the ancients parted from my teachings. I taught love. I taught coexistence. I taught, I taught getting along with everyone. I taught doing unto others as you would have them do unto you. That's about as simple as it gets. You know how you want to be treated. And everyone around you knows how they want to be treated. It's not, it makes no common sense that you would want anger shown to you. Makes no common sense. You want hatred shown to you. You see, it all becomes very simple. Where it becomes more challenging is the appearance of evil energies. Money, for instance. When you're in my heaven, you certainly don't need money. You won't have it. You won't bring it with you. And there's nothing to do with it. But there's an association between what you can do with money and evil energy. Greed. Greed is something, it's an emotion that makes you want what others have. Now think about how greed is so contrary to the golden rule of which I speak every week. Greed is a terrible thing. Greed makes you accumulate great amounts of wealth and do nothing to help others. What good does great money do in a checking account if you're not using it to help others? I want you to be comfortable. You work hard for your money. You work hard for your wealth. I'm not saying that you can't enjoy what you, what you have worked so hard for. But what I am saying is you have great excess of wealth. Many of you do and many of you don't. The times are terrible. There's much violence in the world. There is great inflation, there's a great problem with people 
finding work that they're happy with. All of this is a product of the challenges that I sent back for you. You need to face those challenges. Hiding from those challenges will not do anyone any good, especially you. You need to face the challenges that are in front of you. Answer those challenges by following my words. Know that when you return, you return as you came with nothing. Know that life can really be quite simple if you think of it in the terms of which I speak. I know many of you are getting very tired of hearing these messages, but I get very tired of watching humans not following my messages. So I guess in that sense, we're pretty much even, aren't we? You know what's best for you. I've told you what's best for you. You can divert from that path. There's many things that you simply can do. You can do whatever you want. I made it like that. I don't want to have to forgive because the act of forgiveness means that you didn't follow my messages. Well, I can forgive you. I do. You're forgiven for many, many things. That's part of the learning process. If I had my, my wish and I could do this, I could never have to forgive anyone because I could have it that all of you are made to follow my wishes. I'm God. There's many things I can do and there's many things that I will not do. I will leave humans to make their own decisions. They can do well or they can fail. Tell your friends about me. Tell them about my messages. Tell them about my love. Tell them what you hear on these, on the, this weekly message. Bring them to me. Let them make their decisions. Many make their decisions that have nothing to do with me, and that's their choice. But many of you out there follow my words, know my love, and find great happiness. That's all you need to know. I'll be back again next week. I'll have another message for you. Tell your friends. Pass on my words. Know God. No life and no death is coming and not fear. Tell your friends and I will return to you again next week. So thank you so much. Goodbye. I bless all of you that are listening. I bless all of you that hear my messages. And I bless all of you that follow my words. Goodbye. Thank you, Father. Another wonderful message. We'll be back again next week. We'll be back at our regular time. It's just that I had a doctor's appointment this week, so we're here early. But it'll be up on the YouTube channel. Everyone can hear it. Tell your friends. Love God. Love what you do. And I'll talk to you again next week.